Air pollution in India is the leading cause of poor health as well as the reduction in the quality and quantity of life. From 1997 to 2006, the number of registered vehicles in New Delhi rose from 1.5 million to 4.5 million and it continues to increase by an average of 963 private vehicles every single day. And almost 18 million additional cars will be sold this year alone. Also, emission standards in India are legally nearly 10 years behind European standards. 10,000 people die from air pollutants in Delhi every year alone. And in 2010, 3.5 million people died from air pollution related illnesses in India. No one can escape the toxic air, a quote from Ms. Roy Chaudhry. There are three main contributing factors, vehicle emissions, industrial emissions, and lastly, biomass burnings. is that 75% of Indian households still use solid fuels and 90% of households in rural areas. An estimated 400,000 deaths from acute lower respiratory affection in children occur annually and 34,000 deaths from chronic obstructive pulmonary diseases in women are attributed annually to indoor air pollution. Problems such as air pollution are hard to solve, but there are always solutions. By enforcing frequent compulsory inspections, we can ensure that vehicles and factories are not emitting too much. What the inspections could do is they can monitor pollution emissions every six months and make sure everything is functioning properly and nothing is causing excess emissions. If certain vehicles are simply extremely inefficient, they should pay special taxes, which could help the government deal with other challenges. This would convince people to buy more efficient vehicles as well. Another solution is for us to adopt your standard roads and this will reduce traffic, therefore fewer toxins will be emitted. Our last idea is to promote unaltered fuel. This will burn much more cleanly than regular fuel. Also, we should make unaltered fuel more readily available. Lastly, the government should subsidize the costs of the unaltered fuel so people will be more compelled to use it. The issue of air pollution in India is an extremely vast and complex one. Since the issue is so immense, there is no one solution, so to fight this problem, we can use a combination of all of the ideas we presented. However, we will need the combined effort and contribution from the government, non-government organizations, as well as international non-government organizations. But most importantly, we need your effort to spread the word and help us tackle this gigantic, ever-growing issue. Thank you.